And as always, just a couple things I always ask of you guys, please share these workouts, share my page, um, share your successes, and honestly share with me. So, you know, I, I definitely encourage you to share these um, workouts for me and share my page to help, you know, benefit me and grow my business. But honestly, um, I would love for you to share back with me. I would love to hear what you're enjoying, what you're not enjoying, um, what you'd like to see more of. If you're here, if you're doing these videos three months later, I don't care. It's still a good that you're doing it. So definitely, you know, um, interact. I would love to hear more about what's going on with you, what your um, and what your successes are. If you notice that you're lifting heavier weights than when you started, I love that kind of stuff. So just let me know. Um, also, I have watched my uh, my YouTube page. So please go check it out, Strong Style Fitness on YouTube. Um, I've got all of my Facebook videos over there. So you can find everything that was on Facebook or is on Facebook over on YouTube. Um, they're not edited, they're exactly as you would have saw them here. Um, and it's great for people who aren't interested in social media and want to work out but don't want the hassle with social media. <laughs> kind of me. <laughs> so join it, subscribe. I would love to see a great following over there. Um, eventually that is where I hope to land as my permanent home. So give me a follow there. And lastly, if you would like to send any donations my way for these free classes, um, they would surely be appreciated. It is the only payment I receive for these classes. So you can Venmo me at Strong Style Fit. Or if you're not a Venmo person, just let me know and we will figure something else out. All right, guys. So enough of me talking. Um, we are going to start. You know what? I'm a liar. Ha! I just looked down at my notes again. We are doing our whole first set in the floor, our whole last set in the floor. So, oopsie. <laughs> Not that that really changes anything, but you know, I just kind of misspoke in the beginning. So, go ahead and get in the floor. You are going to be using your heavier set of cable weights in the floor, most likely. I always say have everything available, but you are going to be looking at your heavier set. Go ahead and get yourself set up on the floor, get comfortable. I'm going to get a drink of water, check for comments, and we'll get started. All right. Beautiful. Oh, I see so many friends. <gasps> That's so exciting. I see Cousin Jennifer. I see... The nicest man on the planet, Brink Young. I see the second nicest man on the planet, my daddy. I see Kathy Stone. That's awesome. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Even if you were just popping in to see what's this crazy girl doing, here I am. Great to see your name. So thanks so much for tuning in, even if it's just for a little bit. All right, so let's come down to the floor. So because we are working on strength, we are working on heavy lifting, I threw no surprise exercises in. So these exercises are all going to be super straightforward, things we've done before, no crazy twists. I want you to think about, I've done these exercises, so what can I do to make them better now? How can I correct my form? How can I hold my body? What can I do to perfect these exercises that my body already knows? So that's what I want you to think about today. So no surprises. Just some good, hard work, strength building, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do in the floor, and of course I'll approach you to one of these as we get there, we're gonna do bench press, chest fly, push-ups. So we are working in the eight to 12 range on bench press and chest fly, push-ups. I'm only gonna expect eight out of you. If you can go further than eight, do it, but that's all I'm gonna ask out of you, considering the two exercises we're doing before and how challenging push-ups can be for a lot of us. So, bench press, chest fly, push-ups. 12, 8 to 12, 8 to 12, 8, stretch goal of 12. All right, let's do it. So, remember when we lay on our back with heavy weights, you want to either set the weights to your chest or on your knees, and as you rock back, you kick your weights up. So that's what we want to do to be totally safe. So bench press, just as a reminder before we get started, you want your weights over your chest, not your neck, not your head, over your chest. When you drop those weights, those elbows come down, you want them a little bit below your shoulder, not up at your shoulder, and you squeeze that chest to the top. 
All right, so that's where we're going. Eight to 12, let's do it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep going as well if you need to. Nine, ten. 11 and 12. Beautiful. All right, so next stop is chest fly. So this is on the heavier end from me, but I wanna give it a shot. So we set up over our chest, a little bit of bend in those elbows, like you're holding like a beach ball, like you're wrapping around the beach ball. That's how you set up for the chest fly. And then you're gonna open up keeping that bend in those elbows so we don't stretch our arm out. We keep that arm bent and drop that beach ball. All right, don't drop the weight, drop the beach ball. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. One, squeeze that chest to the top. Two, three, Four, five, good. Keep that bend in those elbows. Six, seven, use that breath. Eight, woo, good, good, good. Nine, ten. 11, woo, I'm glad I'm at 12 because that's going to be it, 12, nice, all right guys, so we're going to come up and do our push-ups, so you have your options for modifications on push-ups, as always you can come up to the wall, push up on the wall, push up on your knees, or your full push-up, um, as most of you know, if you work out with me, I've got this weird shoulder impingement, it's just safer for me to be on my knees when I push up, so that's where I'm gonna be. And I always say that, not to apologize for not impressing you with my full push up, but to let you know it's okay. Know your body, be kind to it, okay? You'll get a lot more life out of it if you're nice, okay? All right, so let's do our push ups. Now, just a reminder, if you modify to your knees, I want you to go full plank and then drop your knees. That's where you find your modification. All right, I'm going to adjust so I can stay on the mat. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo! Awesome. Chest, 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 chest. That is what we are working. All right, so I'm going to be a little brave, y'all, and I'm going to try to up my bench to 20s, okay? I'm going to practice what I preach. I encourage you guys to try heavy, focus on how you can make your work better, so I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to give 20 a try. That's a big jump up from 15, but you know what? You don't know until you try, right? Okay. Weights on knees or weights on chest, we kick it back. So you'll notice we're not taking a long break between our sets. Our long break comes after we're totally done with the chest. All right, weights over chest, back to that bench. Let's go. Three. Four, good. Your elbows slightly out of line with the shoulder. Five. Six, squeeze that chest to the top. Seven. Eight. 
nine, ten, eleven. Last one. If you kept going, twelve, twelve. Guys, I'm super excited. That's new for me. <laughs> All right. To those chest flies. I'm just sitting up because I need to chest, uh, change my weights out. I know I absolutely cannot do chest flies in 20, so <laughs> I need to change it up. All right, so set those weights over your chest. Long neck, little bit of bend in those elbows. We keep that bend. Just a quick demonstration, what I meant was a lot of times we start with the bend, and then when we open, we stretch our arm out, and then bring it back up. So one, you're completely disengaging that chest. You're also really putting that elbow joint at risk. You will see too, once you get your arm extended out like this, you cannot pull a heavy weight back up in that position. So keep that bend in your elbow. Let's work. One. Two. Three. So you should feel your chest expand and then contract. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Make sure you're breathing. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, woo, all right, come up for those push-ups, all right, so anywhere from 8 to 12 is where we're rocking, remember if you're modifying to knees, hold plank, drop your knees, there's your modification, let's go, 1, 2, Woo! That, that fatigue is already there. Three, four, five, six, woo! Seven, eight. <laughs> woo! You see why I only had eight? <laughs> it's one of those things when you know you're going to be pushing with these heavy weights. I was like, don't go crazy with the push-ups. <laughs> All right, guys, one more round, and then we're out of chest completely, okay? All right, so set those weights on your legs or on your chest, kick them back. Whew. Just holding these weights above my chest feels so heavy right now. Ah, but that's awesome. That's what you're looking for, is to fatigue those muscles out. Really, really work them. Okay. Weights over chest. Let's go. One. Two. Three. how different it feels from that first set. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, woo, ten, eleven, woo, I'm going to try for twelve. 12. Whoa. Wow, we loud. <laughs> so guys, I encourage you. What was happening right there was not a bad thing. So I know sometimes people see like that level of effort where your muscles are kind of failing on you and that scares people. You shouldn't be scared. There's nothing to be scared about. The only time you should feel any fear, and this is before you even start to work, is if you're lifting really, really heavy, really, really heavy, 
and you don't have a spotter. You want a spotter when you're working really heavy and you intend to work to failure like that. That's the only thing to be fearful of. And don't be fearful, just plan, and then there's nothing to be afraid of. All right? There's nothing wrong when that kind of stuff happens. Let's <sighs> back to your goal. Get to some fatigue. Take your body to that new place. It's awesome. That's where the growth happens. All right, over your chest. Let's open it up. One. Two. Giving that chest a little love, a little stretch. Beautiful. All right. Whenever you're ready, come up out of the floor. We're going to take us a nice little break here. Let these muscles recover a little bit. While we're out of chest, we are about to go into shoulders. So we're still staying up in that upper bubble. We're staying in upper body the whole time, but we're staying in that same sort of framework, okay? So, take yourself a little break. Enjoy it. If you have weights out that you might not necessarily use again, you can set them to the side. Otherwise, just go ahead and clear yourself out some space. Or even something like we did there, 
where I just really was not sure that if my muscles gave out, I could drop them on myself, drop them on my head. That's the only place that you should be scared. Just plan for that and have somebody spot you. So then you still don't have to be scared. You've just been aware. You acknowledge that you're about to push yourself to a crazy new place, and you need to be prepared for it. But otherwise, don't be worried. It's all good. All right, so where we are going next, we're going into shoulders. They might already feel a little tired from the chest work because your chest and your shoulders are working together. So don't be shocked if you go to do that first set and are like, what? Totally normal. All right, so we're doing overhead press. So we're going to be here. Like I said, nothing new today. Everything we've done before. We're going to go overhead press. We're going to go lateral raise. And we're going to go reverse fly. So we're hitting the shoulders from the top, the front, and the back. So we're hitting all of those different deltoid muscles with just three exercises. Okay, so that should be enough of a break, I hope. So we're going to go into overhead press first, then lateral raise, then reverse fly. Okay? All right, so let's grab our weights. Get set up. So overhead press, just remember you don't want to come all the way down to your side with an overhead press. You stop at the shoulder level or just below. All right, the shoulders down, neck nice and long. Tuck that belly in, tailbone down towards the floor. Nice long spine. Set it up. And let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nice. All right, set them down. We're going to go to lateral raise. Now, for most of us, lateral raise is going to be a pretty substantial drop down from where we were with our overhead press and our chest exercises. So, no worries. I just went down substantially. And this is even still a little high for what I normally do. But again, we're challenging ourselves today. So, eight to 12, let's go. A little bit of bend in those elbows, just because we never want to lock them out. We're lifting to about shoulder height, no higher than shoulder height, three. Wow. Woo. 
Nice work. Ah, I don't like to turn my back to the camera normally, but just a good way to show you what you should be sort of experiencing in the back of those shoulders and how that's different from the chest fly. In the chest fly we open, that's sort of the relaxation, and then we squeeze the chest. With the reverse fly, here is sort of our relaxation and squeeze between those shoulder blades. All right, so we're back to the overhead press. And the theme of pushing ourselves, I'm going to see if I can overhead press to eight by bumping it up. The good news is, is whenever we pick up, there's no rule, that's what stays in our hand. So give it a shot. If you can't, put it down. Go back to where you were. No harm. All right. Woo. New adventures. Let's set it up. All right. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Do it. Two more. Eleven. Twelve. Nice. Good work. All right. We've got those reverse flats. Yeah. Right. Set it up. Shoulders back and down. We set back like we're easing into a chair, just to get us some counterbalance with our booty. Bring those weights forward, open that chest, slight bend in those elbows, squeeze those shoulder blades back. One, two, three, four. You got this, guys. Five. Don't be intimidated. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, last two if you got it, ten, last three, now last two, eleven, twelve, beauty, ah, all right, let's take just a little pause, a little, little pause, we're going to back to those overhead presses, ah, whew, feels so good. All right. No rest for the weary. We've got one last set. Till we finish those shoulders, they'll be thoroughly cooked. Ah. All right. Set up that overhead press. 
Hardest part is getting them up there. All right, let's go. We're going for eight to 12. Let's do it. One, two, three. This is also a place when you're lifting really heavy like this. Four, an imbalance might show itself. Five, six, you might notice your left or your right getting way more tired. Seven. Like my left wants to go. Eight. I'm calling it eight. You can keep going for sure. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Last one. Twelve. Good work, good work. So yeah, that's where you might start to notice an imbalance that maybe you've worked pretty well and you don't, you know, you don't notice because you've been building it, you've been getting it right, but then eventually at some really heavy point, that imbalance is gonna poke its head up again and go, hey, we're still not quite even. So my left there was definitely like, eh. not that my right was on a summer drive or anything, but, uh, <laughs> The left definitely betrayed me before the right. All right, just trying to distract you while you rest for a second. Lateral raise coming up, little bend. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. to bounce it up, 11, last one, 12, what I mean by bouncing it up is when you have to get a little, you're not really lifting with the right muscles if you've got to do that. There's a time and place for that little bounce, but if you need that little bounce to swing the weights up, you need to either take the weight down or you've reached your max reps and just set the weights down and you're done, okay? All right, this happens with the reverse fly a lot too. We use that momentum to bounce the weights open. So, and I'm not saying I don't do it either, but I try to notice when that happens and go, okay, you're done. <laughs> All right, so that booty back, chest nice and broad, bend in those elbows. Let's pull. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. The magic number. You keep going if you need it. Nine, ten, eleven. Last one. Twelve. All right, shoulders are done, officially. <sighs> catch your breath, catch your water. So our next set is shorter. Um, we're gonna work straight arms. So we're gonna do a bicep set, a tricep set, and just alternate through those two. So it's gonna be a little shorter than our three exercises. <sighs> goodness, goodness, y'all. That's some good lifting. Ah, thanks for joining me in this. I really hope you are taking to heart the, the challenge aspect and really giving it a shot. Um, it's just really cool to see what you can do, and especially as you've grown over time, you know. Um, I, like I said, I haven't lifted 20s before in bench that I remember, and if it has, it's been a really long time since I've been able to since before I got hurt. So. Um, it's just cool. Just give it a try. Make yourself proud. Hmm. All right. I'm going to check time and video. 
Also just gonna check time in general, make sure we're not running over, and we're gonna get started. So you need your bicep weight, your tricep weight. Keep in mind, when you pick your bicep tricep weight, we are going to be pushing them pretty hard. A lot of reps. So if you have the option to maybe go a pound or two lighter than you normally do with your bicep tricep, you might want to at least have that available. All right, check the video. All right, sorry, my phone's gonna shake momentarily while I check time. Okay. So we're doing pretty good. Um, I'm just going to, as always, just try to cut my chit chat just a little bit so we stay in time. All right, so what we're doing here is we're gonna do 21s. We've done bicep 21s once before, so this may look familiar if you're one of my regulars. So bicep 21s, we start and we work the bottom half for seven. So we work from bottom to half for seven, and then we work from half to top for seven, and then we work full for seven. We are going to do the same with overhead tricep. Bottom for seven, top for seven, full for seven. That's going to be one heavy weight, two weights, okay? And I can already tell when my arms went up here to do triceps, my shoulders were like, hey girl, mm -mm, what are we doing? <laughs> All right, guys, so we've got our bicep curls, 21s. So bottom half to the middle. Go ahead and get yourself ready. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, top half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Woo! Man, those 21s are killers! Okay, for our tricep extension, same thing. I'm already going to tell you, I have not done 21s with tricep extensions, so I'm going to grab what I think I need. We'll see. <laughs> All right, so tricep extension, we set that weight up overhead, holding like a goblet. Stance is up to you. I prefer a stagger stance. Elbows come toward the front. Not all of us can get them here, but just try not to be here, okay? Towards the front. So we start bottom half, seven. One, two, three, four. Keep those shoulders down away from your ears. Six, seven, top half. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, seven full, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Ooh, good job. All right. So your muscles should feel like super kind of engaged like full, engorged, I guess is the word, of blood from those pumps like that. It's pretty awesome. All right, back to those bicep curls. Gonna keep that rest to a minimum. Whew. All right, I feel like I keep just going, woo, woo. <laughs> All right, so just for a new variation, since we're only hitting our biceps only with curls, Let's do a hammer curl this time. So we're gonna have our weight straight up and down. Everything else is exactly the same. So this is just gonna hit a different head of that bicep. All right, let's go. One, two, three. Still stopping at halfway. Four, five. Elbows tucked into those sides. Six, seven. Top half, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, seven, four, seven, six, five, four. You can do it, I know it's hard. Three. Two. One. Nice. So if you're not familiar with that breathing, just real quick, you breathe in as you're relaxing and then out as you're working. So if you can, let the breath out the whole length of that lift. If you can't, it's kind of how it happens. When you get to the hardest, not the perfect way, but the way I generally end up doing it too. But ideally, you want to breathe in as you lift, if you can. It is helpful. It's hard to learn. It's a practice. We tend to want to hold our breaths. Um, so it is a practice. Just something to keep in mind and experiment with. All right. Bottom half, triceps, seven. Let's go. Seven. Six, relax those shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one. Top half, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Four, seven, six, five. set of 21s for biceps. You can do the hammer or the traditional, whichever way. Just whichever way you pick. Stay with it the whole time for me, okay? All right. Ah, give your biceps a little pep talk. You can do this big guys. All right. <laughs> One more. You got it. One. Nice. All right. You got to fight for it sometimes. And that breath will help you win that fight. I said it feels awkward. I know it's a weird practice. But once you get used to it, it becomes very normal. And keep in mind, even when it becomes normal, it's never perfect. You're always going to step off a little bit, right? No big deal. All right, let's hoist this big guy back up. We got one more tricep set. Woo! All right. Also encourage you, which I'm gonna do myself, if you always put the same hand on top of the other, flip it. Try leading with a different hand. All right, bottom half. Seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, top half, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, top half, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, top half, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, top half, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, top half, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, top half, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one,
three, two, one, full, seven, you got it, last seven, six, five, Woo, I just lost my balance, four, three, two, one, whoa, y'all, I think I went to another planet for a minute, <laughs> it was like my triceps were like, no big deal, no big deal, what is happening? <laughs> Wow, that was so funny. That was a newish experience for me. <sighs> Neat. <laughs> no, that was actually, it was really cool. It was just kind of unexpected because those triceps, while definitely have felt challenging, uh, they were not pushing me to the edge. And then suddenly, those last seven were like, and welcome to the edge. That's where we're at now. <laughs> All right, guys, so take your break, catch your water. We move through that pretty quickly. I haven't checked the time, but I'm gonna bet you we are just fine on time to finish our last set. So all you're going to need, as you can see, I was kind of packing up. All you're gonna need is your one, just one, heavy hand weight. That's all you're gonna need. So I have unloaded everything else, going just for that, and in fact, just because I'm feeling curious, I'm going to set my heaviest weight out. May not need it, but we're playing with it, right? So, I'm going to set it out there, just in case. Okay, so the last things we're going to do, we're going to keep catching our breath. I still need to check the camera. Um, one heavy weight, we're going to be on the floor. So go ahead and get yourself set up. I'll check the camera, and then we'll go from there. All right, it's like we're rocking and rolling. So, we are going to do some single arm rows and we're gonna do dumbbell pullover. So, we're gonna do single arm row one side, single arm row the other, we're gonna lay on our back and do dumbbell pullovers, okay? So again, nothing new. And the only thing that might be a little different about this single arm row is usually I do it standing just to keep us in the floor we're going to use the kneeling modification. If you have any trouble with your knees, feel free to put a pillow, something underneath your other your knee on the floor. If your yoga mat or whatever you have isn't quite enough. Just be careful if you put a pillow or something that's real fluffy, sometimes that'll make that knee unstable underneath you. So just be aware of that. So we start with the left, we're gonna flip it around, we're gonna be have our right up, and we're going to lean into that knee. We're going to have our weight in this hand. So we're going to lean, we're going to engage that core, so I don't mean lean, flop over. I mean tight, tight belly. We lean out and we prop on that leg. We've got our heavy weight, we've got our shoulder down, and we're pulling straight back. So here's what I want you to avoid, which happens especially when we're lifting heavy, is we flare our shoulder open because we get more strength that way, right? We're using our core. Let's keep that shoulder down, straight back. All right, guys. Let's do it. Set it up. Tight core. A little bit of weight into that leg. Pull back. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Beautiful. And I think I might be surprising myself, but I'm going to do this out on 20, but I think I might be going up. Again. In the spirit of challenging ourselves, right? So, we talked about this. We don't want to do this long over pull motion. We're going to keep down. Also, make sure that elbow, you're leading with the elbow, not shoulder shrugging up. That's our second most common thing that happens. Shoulder stays down, pull back with that elbow. Okay? All right, other side, tight core, 
come tall, lean out, rest on that knee, and pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Beautiful. Set that one down. And we're going to our dumbbell pullovers. So this is where you're probably going to use your heaviest weight that you have. And set it to our chest. Roll ourselves back. So dumbbell pullover. We hold goblet like we did with our tricep extensions. Over our chest. Engage that core. We drop the weight back. Tap the floor behind us. Pull back over. Okay, pretty simple move. Just make sure you're keeping your shoulders down nice and long. Keeping a little bit of bend in those elbows. We never lock our elbows out. And that's where we get started. All right, guys, let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. So really think about those back muscles running all the way down your spine. That's what you're engaging to pull over here. Six. Pull through that back. Seven. Eight. It's not just a shoulder. In fact, it should be, shoulders should be kind of passive in this. They're definitely working. Ten. As you drop it back. But I really want you to think about that back. Pulling it over. Eleven. Last one. Twelve. Good. From here, you can kind of just roll it off to the side. Set it back up. So yeah, you're, so what we're working in this set is our back, of course. So rows, dumbbell pullover. That's our back. Last part of our upper body. So just think, when you're pulling that dumbbell over, your shoulders are, of course, what's lowering it back, but when you pull over, really squeeze through these muscles through here. Pull that weight forward. All right, so we've got our rows. Gonna set up, right foot comes forward, stand tall, lean out, grab that weight, shoulder back and down. Let's go. One, two, three, Four, five, again, thinking about those long, lats, back muscles. Seven, eight, lead with that elbow. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Woo! Fun, fun, guys. Breaking PRs left and right. <laughs> All right. Other side, stand tall, hinge out over that leg. You want some weight in that leg, but again, we're not collapsing down into it. Tall, lean forward, good posture. We lead with that elbow back. Two, and we're not starting a lawnmower. Three, we're not cranking through that core. Four, should go all through here. Five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Beautiful. Got our pullovers. Woo. Weight to chest. Lay it back. All right. Got that goblet hold. So kind of like I said on tricep extension, if you always put the same hand on top, switch it out. See if it feels any different. It may feel no different at all. It may feel crazy awkward. Just good. Make ourselves a little more dynamic, right? 
All right, core tight. Goblet hold. Lower it back. Tap. Use that back body flow. One. Two. Three. I literally, four. Think about the muscle I'm working. Five. I send all my mental effort. Six. To that muscle. Keep sending it messages. Seven. To work. Eight. And no, it sounds crazy. Nine. But it makes all the difference in the world. Ten. Trying to make that mind-body connection. Eleven. Twelve. Beautiful. Super, super important to be able to take what's happening in your mind and convert it into your body. It's a super cool thing to be able to do. And it really helps you work. You know, and I'm not joking when I say I literally think about if I'm working my lats, the whole time I'm thinking, I'm sending my energy, sending my brain messages to that muscle, telling it to work. You can feel, see a difference. It may feel weird at first. You may feel nothing at first. It's a practice, just like the breathing. It's all a practice. But it really does make a big difference. Um, so yeah, that sounds super hokey pokey, but I believe it. And, I, and I'd encourage you to try it, see what you think. All right, last set, and then we're gonna be all done. All right, so stand tall, tall, tall. Hinge out. Brace yourself on that leg. We pull back with that elbow. One. Two. Try to keep that head in line with the spine. Three, so don't let it hang down. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, two more if you're still going, eleven, twelve, beautiful. Something else that will also do, sending those messages to the right muscle, will also help discourage the wrong muscles from working. So when we do these, our neck tends to want to flare up and get involved. I'm not going to say it's going to make it stop, it's not going to be perfect. But the less energy you send here, and the more you send here, the less this is going to get involved. All right. Tall, tall, tall. Hinge out. Brace yourself. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Hold that core tight. Two. Five. Six. Eight, nine, ten, two more guys, eleven, twelve, beautiful work, beautiful. All right, last exercise, we all done, one more set of these pullovers, ah. all right, get yourself set up for success. Weight to that chest, or to that knee, kick it up. I'm going to switch my grip again. All right. Long spine, long neck, shoulders down, weight over chest. You drop it back. A little bit of bend in those elbows. One. Two. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Ah, good. 
open that chest wide. Oh, that should feel so good. You are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Oh, I'm going to hop up, even though I would love to just lay there and lay there. <laughs> All right, guys, so thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed exploring a heavy lift, seeing what you can do. I hope you surprised yourself, and I hope you feel really proud. Even if you didn't PR or lift the heaviest weight you've ever lifted today, I hope that you noticed, you know, I might be one or two reps away. I might be getting close to moving up. You know, it's just, it's a process, it's learning, Working out, lifting is so much more than people think. You know, it's we get this meathead reputation, or we just like to go to the gym and sling heavy things around. But you know, I think that you guys know, especially if you've done a lot of my workouts or listen to me today, that it's so much more than that. And there's so much science and method. There's a mental um, uh, piece to it. There's just so much to it. So I really thank you for enjoying me on these heavy lifting days. And I hope that you learned something. And I hope you learned something about yourself. And uh, yeah, I just hope you enjoyed it. I really did. So um, again, as always, I ask you to please share these videos, share my page. If you enjoyed the workout, let me know. Share with me. Get me involved. How can I help you? Um, let me share your successes with you. I want to congratulate you. So just let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, please subscribe to my YouTube page, Strong Style Fitness is how you'll find me. I'd love if you follow me over there. And uh, lastly, donations are accepted for these classes through Venmo at Strong Style Fit or happy to find another way if that doesn't work for you. So thank you so much for joining me today. Super proud of you for taking the challenge. And I will see you in a few days for our next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.